Hey world, hey, it's me, Tracy, your apparelist for Christ. It's Saturday night and I'm home in my basement. I'm working on an order for one of my customers. It's a custom order because you know we have two parts of Draw the Line Tees. We have Draw the Line Tees, the brand. That's when you could go on the website and order those amazing anointed designs and the t-shirts that God has put on our hearts to give to the world or for the world to use as ministry and evangelism tools. And we also have Draw the Line Customs where we create custom t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, hats, whatever um, your heart desire according to the will of God. And we create those for our customers. And today, tonight, I'm working on an order from one of my customers. He ordered... Um, some performance hoodies. He ordered three of them because he's a runner. But before I show you the result of this hoodie, I just want to go ahead and have a word of prayer with you on tonight. And you may not see this until Tuesday. You may not see this until Wednesday. You might not even see this till two weeks ago. But Whenever you see it, I send a prayer to the day that you see it. And I, and I ask Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I come this evening, I come asking you to forgive me of my sins, my iniquities, and my transgressions. Father, that this prayer will go before you out of a pure and a sincere heart and out of love. Father, I pray for all those who are watching this video. I pray for all those who come encounter with this video. And Father, not that they come encounter with this video in particular, but they come encounter with you, Father. And I thank you, Father, for blessing them. I thank you for giving them strength. I thank you, Jesus, um, for answering their prayer according to your perfect will. Father, touch the mothers, touch the fathers, touch the sons, touch the daughters. Father, I even pray for the leaders of this world. Father, you know what they're doing. And you see what they're doing. And God, I'm asking you to save them. I'm asking you to save Joe Biden. I'm asking you, Lord Jesus, to save Kamala Harris. Father God, because salvation needs to come to this country. Father God, and I'm asking you, Lord God, for healing for all of those who are watching this video, who have aches in their body and pains in their body. And maybe they went to the doctor and the doctor told them they had this and they had that. Father God, are you said for us to rejoice, Holy Ghost, and just to thank you in everything to give you thanks. Father God, and I thank you, even if they don't say thank you, I thank you for them, and I call forth a healing in their bodies. I thank you so much because you're not just a healer, God, but you are the healer, and I give you glory, and I give you praise because nothing and nobody, God, can do what you do. You're so amazing, and you're so awesome, and Jesus. Jesus name. Amen. Amen, everybody. Amen. 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 So as I was saying before, um, draw the line tees, we have draw the line tees customs. And yes, if you haven't noticed, I am wearing my indomitable and Jesus Christ hoodie indomitable. And I have my Philippians 4 and 13. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And if you have not gotten this hoodie yet, it's so comfortable. You can go on over to drawthelinetees.com and order this shirt. We Right now we had it in red, red on white and white on red. But we're going to get more versions of this hoodie um, as soon as we can. But today I just want to show you what we've been working on Um what I've been working on as far as custom um, is concerned. And my customer, he ordered a running performance hoodie. And this performance hoodie came out so hot. Y'all didn't expect me to say hot. The hot, the bomb, whatever you want to say, it came out bomb, right? So he wanted, you know, a nice, bright, lime green, reflective color. So when he's out running, even if he's running at night, um, he can be seen. So you can see on, under that black, even under that black is a reflective. And you can see like in the light it's reflecting. But at night, whoa, ain't nobody going to miss him. So on the front of the shirt, it says, we're on the road too. 
that road, what road, what road is he talking about? Right? What road is he talking about? He got this idea from Ecclesiastes 9 and 11, the scripture Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. And I hope you all can see that. I hope I'm not making it crooked. So I love this shirt. I think it's so dope. I might actually have to make one for myself. Right? So then on the back, he wanted the whole scripture on the back. Let me put it a little closer so you can see it. And that whole scripture is, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not given, is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skills, but time and chance happeneth to them all. So that's Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. You get it? 9 11. It's an emergency. 9 11, 9 11. So that's that scripture. And it's saying, you know, no matter how strong you are, no matter how smart you are, no matter how wise you are, the race doesn't necessarily go to you. It goes to the one who endures. I thank God for making you smart. I make, thank God for making you wise. I thank God for making us strong. But we need enduring strength. It goes to the one that endures. And as you can see, again, there's that reflective. And also there's a little bit of twist on this one. I, I You can see it a little bit. I hope you can see it a little bit because this is a black, but when light hits it, Oh, when light hits it, oh my God, the colors start coming out. You see, there's a little rainbow reflective in this, right? So this is um, a, a running performance hoodie that I made for one of my customers that the Lord, you know, gave me to, to make it the idea and um, show me where to find, you know, this particular design. I love it. I love it because it looks like the man is breaking loose. He's running out of it. He's coming up out of it. He's coming up out of it. And all of those things that was holding him back is falling off of him as he get on that road. What road? The road that this race, that this scripture is talking about, the race is not given to the swift. The road that is the narrow road, the narrow road, okay? So I just wanted to share with you tonight how... Um, we create, I created these t-shirts. Of course, I keep saying we, because I'm always online on, on camera with Tiana. Shout out to Tiana. How you doing, girl? Your, your administrative specialist for Christ. Shout out Tiana. But unfortunately, um, Tiana is not here tonight and I pray your strength in the Lord. So I just want to begin and show you a little tutorial on what we do and how we do it here at Draw the Line Tees. And if you want to get a custom t-shirt made for an occasion, uh, just give us, um, a shoot us an email, go to drawthelinetees.com. And at the top of the website, it says custom orders. And you do that and you give us your information, you send an email and we can get the conversation started here at Draw the Line Tees. The world is our niche, but we only print what's pleasing to Jesus. That doesn't mean that we don't do, you know, sports teams and things like that. Just send us an email and we'll get the conversation started. So let's get started on how this t-shirt was created. Okay, guys, I'm here. Um, I'm on my desktop and I'm doing this through Zoom until I find um, some software that's fitting for me. Um, I am going to show you the process that I take to get the design um, to create the shirt that, that was created uh, for my customer, his running shirt. So I'm just going to share my screen with you. And I'm going to go into um, something that's called Design Space, Cricut Design Space. Um, it looks like this. This is Cricut Design Space. Well, actually, let me close out of it. Um, this is, let me close out of it. So this is Cricut Design Space. And it's down here in my in my dock. If you guys can see it, follow my, my little arrows down here in my dock. So I'm going to open. And what Cric Cricut Design Space is, is a design software that comes with um, my Cricut machine, okay? My Cricut machine, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm just going to show it to you right here. This is my Cricut machine. And what it is, this is a vinyl cutter. Um, is a vinyl cutter. Let me see if I can um, take it off, take this um, Cricut design space off real quick and show you. Um, this is the Cricut machine. 
it's a vinyl cutter, okay? And what is vinyl? Vinyl, they have HTV vinyl. Um, vinyl, uh, we use to press on the t-shirt, draw the line tees. We use different media uh, to create t-shirts. We use vinyl, uh, HTV, HTV vinyl. We use transfer paper. We do sublimation. Um, and one day we'll talk about all of those things, but this right here is um, a vinyl cutter. It, it not only cuts vinyl, but it cuts paper, it cuts material, it cuts all kinds of stuff. So if you're interested in starting like crafting and even making signs around your house, like that simply blessed sign right there, all of that is made by a vinyl cutter. It's, it's vinyl and you guys can... Um, start with the Cricut. So I have this Cricut machine. Actually, I have about three. I have one at my office and I have two here at in the house. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you Cricut design space. I'm going to go show you Cricut design space. And here is Cricut design space. And this is the software that comes with the Cricut um, maker. I have the Cricut maker three, and I also have a Cricut Explorer three, and I'm going into my stuff. Okay. So when I go into my stuff, I have a whole plethora of designs for different people and different occasions. And I have, um, a box right here for this particular customer where these designs are. Okay. And so these designs are, you see the front of the design and the back of the design, um, really quickly, I'm just going to go into the front of the design and click custom. All right. And so when I click custom, customize, it's gonna come up. So that's just in case I wanna change anything. I wanna, um, you know, break some stuff up and change it around. So um, with this particular design, um, I did not draw this myself. I didn't draw this myself. I did, well, just the running man, the running man, I did not draw this myself. There are some things that I'll get into cricket and as God lead me in the creativity, I will create, but this particular um, design, I did not create myself. I um, purchased this off of Etsy. Um, so there are lots of places where you can purchase designs um, to use for your own personal use and your commercial use, but you really have to be careful um, and know if you can use it for commercial use or just for your personal use. And after I purchased the design, I add my own touches to it, like this um, saying we're on the road to Ecclesiastes um, 9 and 11. So I kind of put that design with the scripture. And so now you have both. And then you'll see on the, on the shirt, there's also a background. This is the front this is the forward design, the design that you see on the, the black design, the black part that you see on the shirt. But in back of the shirt, there's a reflective. And so I needed to be able to create um, a, a shadow, so to speak, a shadow that this black design can sit on and the reflective can um, come shining through. And what that was, um, and I'm just giving you a real quick lesson that was, um, when I click on when I click on the design, there's something up here in Cricut Space. If you can see my arrow called offset. So the offset, if I click on the offset, the offset is going to kind of create a, um, a, for lack of a better word, a little bubble around the design, around the whole design. Okay, um, and I thought that this was a little big. The offset is set at a default of 0 0.25, but I wanted this to be 0 0.10, um, and I wanted the edges to be square doll because it looks better. So now you can see there's a little smaller and a little sharper and a little square and a little straight because draw the line T's and I like to deal with, you know, the straight line. So I'll hit apply and then you'll see it looks like the design turned gray, gray and black. But what really happened, it created a back layer. If I move that, then you'll see the back layer. And this is what um, is printed in reflective. So this is printed on black vinyl and this is printed on reflective, or should I say this is cut out on black vinyl and this is cut out on reflective vinyl. So I already have one of these. So let me just move this out the way um, because I don't want to get that. So what do we do next? I'm just going to stop sharing for a second. What do we do next? Okay. So when we have our design all ready to go, we have our design all ready to go. I grab um, 
the vinyl that I need. I grab the vinyl that I need. In this case, I'm going to grab some, um, some black HCD. It's called heat transfer vinyl. Give me one second. Let me go find it. All right. Here it is right here. I'm going to grab some heat transfer vinyl, the black, because I want that design to come out. Okay. So I'm going to, and I'm going to put it on this mat. This mat, you put it on when you're using a Cricut or any vinyl cutter. Um, well, any crafting vinyl cutter comes with mats. And these are these mats are very sticky, okay? And they um, will help to keep the vinyl in place. So um, more than often, you, you want to do a measurement, okay, of the design. You want to do a measurement of the design, and you want to know how much vinyl you should use because these vinyls come in rolls. Sometimes they come in sheets, but sometimes they come in rolls. Okay. So you want to do a measurement of how much vinyl you, excuse me, my lips are ashy. <laughs> Can y'all see that? If you see that my lips are ashy, say, I love put some grease on them lips. Right. So, <laughs> so you want to do, you know, you want to, because this vinyl could get expensive, so you don't want to waste vinyl, okay? So um, I'm going to go back to share so you guys can see what I'm talking about with the measurement. I'm going to share my screen so you can see. So when I'm on Cricut Design Space and I'm going to click on make it, I hope you guys can see my screen. I'm going to click on make it, all right? And it says without a mat or on a mat, so Cricut has special material that um, you can use without a mat. That's called smart, um, smart iron on, but I'm not using that today. I'm using um, a really, um, this is, this is sizer vinyl. You guys don't know what that means. So I'm using this vinyl. Okay. And it's telling me the size mat that I need is as a 12 by 24, which is this, because my, my design is kind of lengthy. Um, and then mat comes in another size, which is 12 by 12, which is the shorter size but I'm not gonna be using this right now. I'm gonna use the lengthy mat because my design is kind of lengthy, if you can see this, okay? And it's telling me I need a 12 by 24. And I'm gonna confirm that um, that's what I'm gonna use. And if you can see the design, let me take this off and stop sharing. Um, oh, let me put that back on, on sharing, okay. And if you can see the design is on the black mat because the design is black, if you can see that, um, it's going to tell you that my design is seven and a half inches wide and about 12 and a half inches long. So what I want to do, even on this mat, this mat, um, it comes with the numbers so it can help you um, measure your vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and measure my vinyl. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go, if you can see it, I'm gonna go ahead and measure my vinyl. And give me one second. So that vinyl, that was uh, about seven and a half across and 12 and a half down. So that's about there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Once I find my scissors, I'm going to go ahead and cut it once I find my scissors. So that is about 12 and a half. I'm just going to make it 13. And most people don't cut it on their, um, their, their, um, most people don't cut it on their, on their sticky mat. But just for the sake of time, I'm just going to cut it right on my sticky mat. And as you can see, the mat is very sticky. So maybe I better not cut it on a sticky mat. I already got me a cut. Yeah, so I don't know what you guys usually do on a Saturday night. Maybe you could chime in and let me know what you do on a Saturday night. Um, usually I'm preparing, you know, preparing, relaxing, get myself ready for church on a Sunday, Sunday morning, and see how God's going to move. But some of you may be doing different things on Saturday night. So what are you doing? On, what do you do on Saturday nights? Okay, so I'm going to move this out the way. And um, like I said, it was seven wide. So I'm gonna measure this. I'm gonna go to eight, okay? So which means that I'm gonna have a little piece. As a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna cut that off. I'm just gonna leave that there. And I'm just gonna stick it to the mat, 
Now you got to remember this is vinyl. So the vinyl is what's going to go on the t-shirt. The vinyl is actually what's going to go on your t-shirt. Okay. So I've, I have to learn this because there's a certain way that you have to put the vinyl down so it can cut correctly. Um, the vinyl, it has a shiny side and it has a dull side, right? So the shiny side is what you call a carrier case. It's a carrier. And what that is, um, that actually holds the design together, all right? So when I go, and I, you guys probably can't see this, on the dull side, when I go and do what, what we call weeding, I should be able to pull the dull side up, right? So the dull side, when I pull this up, when I finally um, get the design cut out, when I pull this up, it, everything is going to come up except the design. So you guys are going to see what I'm talking about um, when um, I cut it out. So, but I just want to show you um, right now that this design has about four parts to cut. So I'm not gonna take you through the torture of seeing all of this get cut, but this design has about four parts to get cut. Let me show you the parts that this design has for to cut out. So we have um, the front of design, that um, black design, that's one part. Then also on the front of the design, we also have, Excuse me, I'm making the designs disappear. Also, we have on the front of the design that shadow part that sits right behind the black design. That's the part that we do the reflective in. So we're doing it in the black vinyl and we're doing it in a reflective vinyl. We're piling, we're putting one vinyl on top of the other to create that fantastic look um, that we see on the, on the performance hoodie. Okay, so that's the front of the design. Okay, and then we have the back of the design. Let me save this. Then we have the back of the design. Let me show you the, the, the back of the design. We have also two things to cut out on the back of the design. Um, on the back of the design, that's the, the foot, the sneaker rather, right? So we have the sneaker on the back of the design with, um, the scripture, again, that's that shadow. That's that offset we were talking about. But if I click on my attack so you guys can see the words. So here are the words that go on top of the offset. Let me bring that to the front. Okay, so here are the words. So there are two parts that we have to cut out. I'm not going to take you guys through the torture of seeing all this cut out, but I am going to show you a little bit of it. So let me go back to the first, the first design that we have to cut out, um, and I'll show you how that works. Okay, what do you guys? What did you cook for dinner tonight? You know what I had? I had Boston Market. <laughs> Excuse me. Yep, I have Boston Market. That's a life of a single person. I have Boston Market. I didn't cook anything. I just went to Boston Market on uh, Route 10. And I, and, and, um, cause I had to run up there and get me some more of this black vinyl. And, um, now I'm sitting here, you know, finishing up these shirts. And, and remember, I hope you guys remember when you go on the website, we have a, um, an area where it says prayer requests. And if you have prayers, if you want us to touch and agree, Tiana and I to touch and agree uh, with your prayer requests and your requests according to God's will, we'll touch and agree, we'll lift it up in prayer and we'll pray for you and we'll ask God, you know, um, to bless you and bless you abundantly. Um, we'll touch and agree with your prayer requests if it's according to God's will your request because we can't be asking God uh, all the crazy stuff to give us stuff that belong to somebody else, right? <laughs> no, we want to ask for things that's according to his will. And if we don't know his will, then we ask what his will is. But just know, you know, there is an area for you to go to the website, even if you don't purchase anything. And if you just say, I need prayer, then go to the website and, um, Tiana and I will get your prayer request and we'll hold your prayer request up to the Lord. Um, so now you guys can't see right now what I'm doing right now, but I am putting the vinyl down on the sticky board. 
it's on the sticky board. <laughs> I'm putting the vinyl down on the mat. Okay. Once I put the vinyl down on the mat, now I'm going to go ahead and make click make it so um, Cricut can cut this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click make it. And then what Cricut does, it, it again, when I showed um, this part, I don't know, I didn't show you this part. It asked for any material. Oh, I did show you the part, this part. It's a 12 by 24. I confirm. All right. And always, always um, when you're cutting out vinyl HTV, you want to mirror it because that flips it around because on the vinyl, when you, what we're going to go through is called weeding. When we weed it out, um, we want that design to be faced on the shirt the correct way. So in order for that to happen, when we cut it out, we have to mirror it to make it look backwards. So that's what we're doing right now. So as I, I mirrored it, my measurements are on, um, on target, on point, and I'm just going to go ahead and click continue. And after I click continue, um, different, um, the same board comes up over here to my left. And it asked me, you know, if I wanted to edit what I did, move this down and move it up a little bit, I can do that. But right now I'm I'm good with that. Over here, it asks you, what are you cutting? What material are you cutting? I have some um, bookmark, then I have the most popular. It says, what material are you cutting? Like I said, with, with Cricut, you could you can cut leather, you can cut um um, material you could cut vinyl cricket's a little handy dandy machine so you always don't have to do hcv and t-shirt you could do a lot of crafting like even those boards those little signs people have in their houses how do, some of those are made by cricket they just cut the vinyl out but that's a whole different another kind of vinyl some of you uh receive mugs from draw the line tees um that have little sands on it some of the mugs are sublimation but some of them are vinyl um, and so, you know, you can do a lot with this. So I need to choose my material and what I'm going to choose right now, you see this iron on is everyday iron on. So I'm going to go ahead and click the everyday iron on. And once I click the everyday iron on is my cricket light starts, it shows, it starts blinking. Let me see. Let me, I'm going to switch it back and forth. The cricket light right here, it starts blinking. Can you see that? Okay, yeah, you see that black that it starts blinking. It says I'm ready for um the mat to be inserted. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to because the first thing Cricut does it measures the mat. It measures the mat. So and then want to make sure that it has the right amount of material so the cut can go on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my Cricut machine, and I'm gonna press that button. And right now it's measuring the mat. Guys can see. And it's measuring the material. And I'm pretty good with my material. Okay. And now it's gonna say that the 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 play it looks like a play button light. That's that that's lighting up now. And it says, okay, you can go ahead. Everything's cool. So you can go ahead and I'm gonna start cutting it out. So I press that. So Cricut is preparing. And I'm just gonna come off of this screen so you guys can see how Cricut will start cutting out that vinyl. It's wait for a second because it's getting itself together. You know, sometimes we gotta get ourselves together, but you're gonna soon see. Now it's gonna start cutting out that design. That design is so intricate with all of those little uh, pieces. It takes me a, a while to weed. Um, so while this is cutting out, I'm gonna start working on some things and I'll be right back to show you um, what weeding look like. I might not be weeding the man that's running because it takes me a long time to weed that, but I'll show you um, how we weed the design out and get it ready for pressing. Okay, okay, so while the Cricut is cutting out um, that particular vinyl, I have some other pieces, if you guys can see, that um, we cut, that I cut earlier today. Um, I have some other pieces, so I'm going to go ahead, and you can see that this is that rainbow, um, black rainbow vinyl 
I don't know if you guys can see the um, the rainbow that's reflecting through the black, but it's gonna it's, it looks really nice on the shirt and it looks especially nice when the sun hits it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down some. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down some. So I won't have that much um, space to have to weed out. Okay. And then as we can see that this is the front of the vinyl, because the front of the vinyl is the um, shiny side. That's the side that goes face down. And this is this is the front of the vinyl. That's the shiny side. That's that side that went face down. And this is the back of the vinyl. That was that dull side. This is the side that we will call, we will have to weed. And we do that with um, a little weeding tool. There are many different weeding tools, um, many different sizes but the weeding tool looks like this. So what we're gonna do is I am going to go ahead and catch the edge of this. If you can see, can you see? I'm gonna go ahead and catch the edge of this um, vinyl right between um, the back dull part and this clear piece is called the carry sheet. You see that? It's a clear piece now when I pull up the vinyl it's called the carry sheet. So when I start weeding or pulling back the vinyl, the only thing that should be left on the vinyl is the design. And this, you see how that's coming out? That's that shadow part that's behind the scripture. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed this. If you can see it, I'm trying to get it so you can see it because I got you guys, I got it on Zoom. I'm gonna go ahead and weed this. You know, this one is, you know, doing pretty good with weeding. And this is pretty relaxing to me. I like to pull this up. I like to do the weeding because it's relaxing to me. And, um, but you want to be careful to make sure that none of your design is coming up uh, with the weeding. So if you guys, if you like to pull things up and do kind of things, if you want to try relaxing things, I think weeding is very relaxing to is relaxing to me. Um, some people will probably get frustrated with this, um, but it's relaxing to me. Now you see most of the design came up, but there are some little pieces that stuck in between that has to be pulled up. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my weeding tool. If you guys can see, go ahead, take my weeding tool. And I'm going to go ahead and begin to pull those pieces up that was left behind that need to come up and move that out the way. Yep, this is very relaxing to me. I like I like doing things um, like doing things like this. Um, you know, what kind of things are relaxing to you on this Saturday night? What kind of things you do to relax, you know, just to wind down. Um, some things that, you know, get you, you know, even with prayer, prayer is very relaxing. It, it gets me in the right frame of mind and, you know, it helps me to gather my thoughts. And even in prayer, when the Lord begins to speak to me about certain things and show me where I went right and show me where I went wrong you know, and just begin to minister to me. That's relaxing. You know, this, we in weeding this um, vinyl was not as relaxing as prayer, but it is relaxing. <laughs> so, yep. Can you, oh, I moved it way over there. So you, I moved it way over here. You guys can't see what I'm doing. So this is me. Of course, we're going to speed this part up. We're going to speed this part up um, in the video but this is how we weed it, okay? And then there's another part. Like I said, this is that back design. This is that back design. This is the design where the scripture sits on. The scripture sits on top of this design. Okay, the scripture sits on top of this. This is that shadow part that I was telling you guys about. So where's the scripture? So then I have the scripture 
that's all weeded, was not weeded out. So I'm going to weed the scripture out. So I have the scripture right here. This is that silver reflective. And if you can see where Cricket has cut, if you look at, you can see the words are actually cut into the vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to go ahead and weed out the script, the scripture as well to grab it from the corner. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me grab it from the corner and I'm just going to begin to pull it up. Uh, this is going to be probably a little longer because it's a little more on this, on this particular piece, on this particular design than it is on um, the other one. So I'm going to pull it up. Ah, look how it's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. And of course, I'm going to have to go back and get those little pieces and just trying to be careful to make sure I'm not leaving, you know, any of my design parts are not coming up and they're not coming up. And weeding is very simple. Um, even a, a child can do it. And very simple. So weeding this design, and it, and it takes some time, you know, it takes some time to create and to put this whole thing together. So you got to be willing to put in the time to sit down and do it um, from start to finish, create the design, um, then cut it out on the vinyl cutter, on a Cricut vinyl cutter, um, and to weed it. Um, especially if it has intricate intricate designs like um the man that's running I'm going to show you I'm going to show you that in a in a second as soon as I finish weeding this out because I want you guys to see how that design came out with the man that's running okay with the running man Yep so hopefully I can finish this tonight um, cause I want to get in the bed early. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think. I don't know what you call early, but me, I call nine o'clock early. <laughs> nine o'clock is early for me. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a prize when I can get in the bed at eight o'clock. That's, that's a miracle. If I, if I'm in the bed at eight o'clock, that's a miracle. So, but nine o'clock is early. Sometimes, I mean, nine o'clock is for me. Sometimes I, find myself going to bed at 10 and 11 o'clock. And I know I should have been in bed before 10 o'clock. I know I should have been in the bed before 11 o'clock, but that's okay. God will restore. He restores me. And, um, but he also tells me some, a lot of times when I need to slow down and get some rest, you know, stop running and stop running and ripping, you know, and God will tell you too, when you need to slow down and get some rest, you can't be up all night. You know, if we're going to be soldiers for Christ, we got to be well, well rested. If we're going to go out there, you know, and tell the world about Jesus Christ, we got to be well rested so we can think, we can think and we can remember those scriptures and we can um, talk to the people with compassion and with love. You know, when you're sleepy, you kind of groggy. <laughs> when you're sleepy and you want to get some sleep. And folks just keep bothering you and they want to talk to you. You get kind of groggy. Come on, tell the truth. When you sleepy, you get groggy and you get kind of, you know, um, attitudinal. <laughs> if that's a word, <laughs> is attitudinal a word? <laughs> I don't know, but I just made it up. Okay. So, but we don't want that. We want to get our proper amount of sleep. Um, so yeah. So this is what I'm doing. Um, I am weeding out the scripture. And like I said, it's a long, it's, it's a lot. So I'm just going to leave this here and I'm going to show you the other pieces that, um, go to this t-shirt, go to this, um, performance hoodie. I'm going to show you the other pieces and how they came out. Hold on. Okay. So here is the man that was running. He is fully weeded. And as you can see, there are little pieces in that design where um, 
you had to get those little pieces out of that man. And um, and that was a very intricate um, weeding process. So I really had to take my time uh, to weed out this little man, okay? To weed out the running man. And then we have this piece. Then we have the shadow that's behind the man. Okay, let me um cut this shadow out because it just got finished cutting on the other on my other cricket. I got two cricket machines down here, like I said. So then we have the shadow piece. Again, we have the indomitable and Jesus Christ hoodies on draw the line tees. Um dot com. Go and get your indomitable hoodie on draw the line tees and go and get your 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 tools. You know, you wear you wear those shirts, you wear those designs. They are sure to get a conversation started. I tell you that. Um, so if you wear them and you ready to be a soldier for Christ and you ready to minister to Christ or you just want to get something. Look, let's still ask you if you want to get something for that um, bold soldier in Christ that's in your life that draw bold lines for Christ. And, you know, go ahead and go on over to draw the line tees. And um, go ahead and get a hoodie, a t-shirt, or just um, go ahead and drop a prayer request. And um, Tiana and I, like I said, we will touch and agree with you according to God's will for your prayer request. Um, but this right here, this piece right here that I'm cutting out, this is the shadow piece for um, the front design for the little man, um, the running man and the words um, we're on the road to. So I'm going to go ahead and start weeding that. Like I said, weeding is very relaxing to me. So I'm going to grab that. And this is a little easier. This is a little easier because the design don't have as many slits in it like um, the running man does. It's just like a shadow, right? It's just like a shadow that sits behind the design. So you can see how that's coming up. It's like a shadow. And just working on pulling that up. 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 And you can see that is being pulled up. Pulled up, pulled up. And you can see the, the the form the form of the man the form is taking the shape of the man is forming like God created man from the dust of the ground <laughs> he's being formed and shaped okay and then take out those small parts I don't want to forget any of the parts I don't want to forget any of the pieces all these little pieces. Get those little pieces. Don't forget any of the pieces. Let's see what we have. We have a little piece right here. You guys see that little piece right there? If you can see it, look at that little piece right there. And let's get in between the letters. Oops, that was a little bit too hard, but it's it's gonna be okay. Let me. Sometimes it gets sticky, and it don't like to come up. Okay, that's good. Get that little piece right there. And. A couple of more little pieces. Get that little piece right there. And then almost done with this. Okay, so this is this is the back shadow. This is 
this is the back shadow of the man that's running. This is the back shadow. And so I'm going to show you what that's going to look like. That's going to look like when I lay it on top of this, but this isn't going to look better. So it's going to go on top of this like that. It's even going to look better when we go and we um, begin to press it. So we're going to get ready to press it right now. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, here's where it gets a little more interesting. So now we're getting ready to press the design onto the, the shirt, the hoodie. Um, I have my hoodie here. I love this lime green color. Uh, got this hoodie here. And we're sitting at the press right now. So this is our press that I have at home. If you guys watched the other video where... Um, I did the plug-in shirts for another customer. I was in the office and I was working on the big boy. But since I'm home, I'm be working on. I will be working on this manual um, press. And I have my heat set to um, 306 degrees. If you guys can see that, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm not gonna go all the way around here. I have my heat um, press set to 306 degrees for 15 seconds. Um, for um, Press and t-shirts, the time, the temperature, and the pressure is very important. Um, these things determine whether or not the design is going to stay on the shirt and whether or not it's going to last through various wash cycles. Um, if, if, if it's done right, your t-shirt, um, the design on your shirt, your hoodie, or what have you, it will last um, up to 50 wash cycles, um, depending on, you know, the the type of fabric, and if you follow the instructions um, when taking care of your garment. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna give my garment a slight, um, a slight press just for a couple of seconds. And this is just to remove all the moisture out of the shirt. If the shirt has moisture in it, it's to remove moisture out of the shirt. And again, if you watched the last video, um, that I did on the plug-in shirts. And you know that if there's moisture in the shirt, um, you will see um, steam rising from, you'll see steam rising from off the shirt. So I'm just gonna give it a quick tap for three seconds. And then I'm gonna lift it up, okay? So that's it. There's no moisture in my shirt. There's no steam rising from off the shirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my makeshift area where I go to um, place the design on the shirt. So we're just going to walk over here to my little cardboard area on the floor. <laughs> uh, when I'm at my studio, I work on top of a table. But here, I'm going to go to my little makeshift cardboard. You, you guys see that? My little makeshift cardboard that I have um, that we'll be working from today. So I am going to go ahead and set this shirt on the cardboard and hopefully you'll be able to see everything that I'm doing on this cardboard. So right here on the cardboard, and please don't fall. I don't want my, I don't want my camera to fall. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. So right here on the cardboard, oh, my foot gets stuck in there. I'm gonna lay my shirt out on the side that I just pressed. That's the front side. Okay, I'm laying my shirt out on the front side on top of the cardboard. I put it on the cardboard because I don't want any stains or anything to get on it um, because we want to give the best to our customers. Okay, so we, you know, our, our mission is to be um, the standard of excellence. Uh, well, our vision for Draw the Line Customs, our vision for Draw the Line Customs, can you see me? Our vision for Draw the Line Customs <laughs> is be the standard of excellence in Christian apparel and accessory business. 
um, accessory industry. And our vision is to um, give all of our customers, you know, the creativity from heaven for everybody that wants something a little bit more peculiar. So what I'm going to do is in this design indeed that we're doing right now is a little bit more peculiar. So when we have our design being ready to be laid out, oh, I don't want this camera to fall. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can get it. And it fell anyway. Give me one second, guys. Oh, now it's upside down. Give me one second. Give me one second. I don't want this camera to fall. This part is going to get edited out. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So I don't know if you guys can see all of this, what's going on. But like I said, I have my t-shirt on the board. And we're just going to put the placement. We're going to measure it so we can put the put it the correct placement, okay? Put the design on the correct placement. Um, where's my ruler? You always want to use your ruler. Some people use, um, some people eye it and they're very good at eyeing it or using their hands. But I like to use the ruler. Sometimes I use my hands, but I want to be the want to use the ruler to be more um precise with my measurements. Um give me one second, let me find my ruler. Oh, it was right behind me. <laughs> so here's my handy dandy ruler. Okay, so there's my handy dandy ruler. And what I want to do is I want to measure it um, three inches down from the neck. Usually that's about four fingers, three inches down from the neck. And this ruler, if you see this ruler, and if I place it flat like this, look at my nails look awful. Don't look at my nails. It's three inches. It's about three inches, the same um, measurement of my hands. So I'm going to place that ruler right here on the t-shirt from the neck. Let me put it so you guys can see it. So the ruler is right there, three inches down from the neck, from the neck of the shirt. And now I want to find the center of my design because we want to make sure the design is centered. Some people use um, something called a T-square um, to find their center. Unfortunately, my T square is at the office. So I am going to use this method. You get the farthest ends of your design, the farthest ends, and you bring them to meet. You bring them to meet. And this is going to give you where the center part of your design is. So wherever that folds up in the center right here, you see that that's the center part of my design and I'm going to put a little crease there so I can make sure that my design is being centered. Okay. And as you know, like I explained before, this particular part of the design, this is the reflective. So we're going to be doing some layering. Layering means that we're going to put one type of vinyl. I know you guys can't see me. Layering means we're going to put one type of vinyl on top of another. So this vinyl right here, this you have to press this for about 30 seconds in order for it to stick, um, to infuse into the garment. However, for the first time, we're only going to press it for about, mm, maybe about three or four seconds because we're going to have to press, um, another vinyl on top of this. And just remember when, if I press it for the whole 30 seconds, um, the vinyl expands. So the piece that I have to put on top of it, if I press it the full time before I put that piece on, it may not fit properly. So you guys will see what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and here's the center of my shirt and I'm gonna center this design. And make sure it's nice and straight. So that design is centered, it's nice and straight. I'm going to let you guys look at it. I'm going to remove my ruler. And I'm just going to stick it to the shirt. And let it. So let you guys get a good look at that. So you see. From the top. So it's laying on the shirt. It's nice and centered. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and take this over to the press. Remember, we have about um, four presses to do, maybe a little bit more because we have four pieces, but we want to make sure those pieces are on there nice and they won't come off. 
um, when my customer washed his shirt. Okay, so we're gonna go come on over to the press and we're gonna get this part going right here. So what I'm gonna do, I hope this camera don't fall over. And that was my finger in the way. <laughs> so I'm going to rest this. Okay, it looks like it's gonna fall over. It's gonna fall over. I gotta, I'm gonna fuss with this camera. I gotta find something to hold it up. I'm gonna grab this sneaker. I'm gonna grab these sneakers. <laughs> you see these sneakers? At the while, I'm gonna be pressing on sneakers. So I'm gonna grab those sneakers just to keep my camera in place. Okay. So now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and place um, my garment on the press. And this press is really hot, so you really have to be careful when you when you are working around this press. It's really hot. Uh, I burnt myself a couple of times on the big boy at the uh, at the design studio, and you don't want to do that. Okay, so you have to be really careful when working around this press. And this is just like a big old iron. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and smooth that out. Move away any lint that I have that may be on this shirt. And I'm going to go ahead and um, tap this down. Hold on. Let me find my other piece. I'll be right back. I'm getting all my pieces together so to have them closer to me. <laughs> they have my pieces closer to me. Um, so I won't have to run all the way around the room. So I'm going to go ahead and tack this for uh, about three seconds, three or four seconds, so I can get a good stick to the shirt before I add the, the top layer on. So I'm going to go down and tack that for a couple of seconds and bring it up and I want this to cool off because reflective this is called reflective vinyl that's a cool pill so I'm going to use my my heat pillow um, that I use for my Cricut press and I'm going to take some of that heat off of it so this this pillow it takes the heat it takes the heat they actually got little um, erasers that little um, things that look like school chalkboard erasers that I have at the office but I don't have any here so I use my heat press pillow um, my um, Cricut heat press and now I'm just gonna peel it off and you see how that's peeling off you see how that's peeling off so uh, like I said again that is like the shadow of the design and that came out so nice. Um, but again, I have to sit the second part, the top layer on top of this. And the top layer is the running man, the man that's running. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place the top layer on top of this where it's supposed to be. Uh, make sure it's all lined up nice and e nice and easy. Make sure it's all lined up. I don't want to... Sometimes I would have to cut it in pieces just to make sure the pieces are lined up correctly. But I don't, have, I don't think I'm going to do this on this one, but I might have to do it on the back design. So they're all lined up. Now that looks really good. What do you guys think? That looks good, right? That looks really good. So I hope you can see it, but that looks really good. Looks like it's in line, it's in order, um, and it's ready to be pressed. So I'm going to go take my Teflon. This is a Teflon paper. Uh, this is a Teflon sheet. going to take my Teflon sheet, and I'm going to lay it on top of there. And we're going to press it for 15 seconds. Uh, and remember... Uh, my camera is about to go go down. I had to catch it. And remember that reflective vinyl, that's a 30-second press. Kids. Um, the black vinyl, that's like a 12-second press, but it's not going to burn. That's one time. So I'm going to sit this down and press it one more time. Okay. 
Yep. It's, it's, it's past my bedtime. It's past my bedtime, y'all. But I need to get this order done because it has to be given to my customer on Monday. And um, there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and lift that up. And I'm going to go ahead and peel that top layer off. And look at that. I got to um, peel that top layer off. And there you go. But I need to go ahead and um as you can see some other some of the little specks were left on the the, the um carrier sheet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and manually place those down when i do my um press for good measure you know shake it down press together so men giving unto your bosom for with the you oh hold on I'm walking away. <laughs> yep, with the same measure, you know what is it that you give all. Uh, I'm being bad at my scriptures right now, but you know, we say it in church every Sunday, and I'm forgetting and forgetting the scripture. That's real bad. So, but you know, good measure pressed together, shaken down. So men give unto your bosom. So for good measure. I am going to take these little pieces right here and stick it onto where it belongs. Stick it where it belongs, right here. This one belongs right here. And like I said, this, This um, heat press is really, really, really hot. So you want to be careful uh, working with this heat press. And I'm going to take that and put it right there in the position. Guys, give me a second and I'll get back to you because I'm going to take it off the heat press. Okay, so we got those little pieces um, that was missing. We got those little pieces onto the shirt. So now that looks really good, doesn't it, y'all? That looks really good. So, you know, it's very nice um, to look at. And I ask the Lord before I start to just bless the work of my hands. And I believe that he, he's doing it and he's done it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the back of the shirt now. We're going to lay the design for the back of the shirt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the layering um, before... Before, oh, I forgot to um, to um, to do a quick press on the back of the shirt. So give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And then we're going to lay the, the shirt on the cardboard to keep it clean and nice for my customer. Okay, so we're going to lay it on the cardboard. And so, again, the design, we have to place the design on the back of the shirt and get it ready for pressing. Um, I hope you guys can see that. I'm just going to pull it down some on the cardboard so you can see that and fold that up so it would not um, hit the fibers of the carpet. So what I'm going to do is I'm also, again, I'm going to measure this uh, about three inches, four inches down from the collar, from the back of the collar. And I am going to place my top, my bottom design on, on the shirt. And that looks really good. That looks really good right there. It's centered. And I'm ready to go. What do you guys think? This is that rainbow reflective, that black rainbow reflective. So this shirt is going to be reflected all kinds of ways. Uh, but we want it to reflect the light in particular. And that light is Jesus. He said, I'm the light of the world. So we want it to reflect in that light. Okay, so that back has been set on the hoodie. 
So we're going to take this hoodie over to the press. And again, because we're layering it, we're not going to press it for the um, total amount, that amount of time that it's supposed to be pressed for. Okay, so let's go. Let's remove the ruler. I want to fold this up so I won't lose my... As a matter of fact, we're going to use what we call, so I won't lose my position, what we call heat-resistant tape, okay? So this tape we can put on a shirt, and it takes a lot of heat. This tape is heat-resistant tape, so it takes a lot of heat, so I'm going to take my shirt down. I'm going to take the design down. So when we move it over to the press, the design is still in place, so I won't have to worry about messing with the measurements and things like that no more so i'm gonna take it and we're gonna move over to the heat press going back to the heat press i know my heat press is a little behind where i'm working on the t-shirt so it's behind my couch <laughs> the heat press is behind the couch so let me just set this camera up first so you guys can see and make sure it don't fall over and now let me just put the shirt on the heat press. And make sure that it's the design is still in place. Which it is. And make sure that it's straightened out. Let me straighten the shirt out. I like um, the big boy because the big boy has what you call threadability. Like you can um, actually put the sheet t-shirt on the press um, where the t-shirt, the top of the t-shirt. You can put the shirt or the garment, whatever you're working on. You can put it like put it on the press where the top is sitting on the top and then you can open the shirt up. Threadability means that you can open the shirt up and slide it right on the platen, but uh, you really can't do that with this um, heat press that I have right here that I'm working with. So I'm going to go ahead and put my Teflon paper on. And again, I just want to tack it for a couple of seconds. Okay, I'm not sure what happened <laughs> to my video, um, why the camera cut off. So I was recording Um and talking, well, I was talking, thinking I was recording, but the camera stopped. So where, where I stopped that after I tacked the um, the T-shirt, after I tacked that first design down, that first layer down, um, I came back to the floor to put the second layer on. Um, I know earlier I said I was just going to layer it all in one shot, but I really couldn't do that because um, the, uh, the carry sheet was going to be in between the two layers. And now I'm putting on the second layer and I try to line it up um, so it can go on the way that it's supposed to go on. But it wasn't quite lining up um, quite well. So what I had to do is I had to start cutting the slits out, cutting the sentences out and line up each line, line by line, you know, line by line, preset by preset. That's what the words say. So that's what I'm doing. I'm lining it up line by line. So I'm taking it, I'm on my third line right now and I am um, just lining it up, making sure that it's in the middle of that shadow, making sure it's in the middle of the shadow for each line. Okay. That looks good. I want to make sure it looks good. Make sure that it's lined up perfectly. And that's that word swift. That word swift don't look like it's lined up perfectly. So what I'm gonna do sometimes I will have to take the uh the single word and cut out the single word um to make sure it's all lined up perfectly. So to get that single word. So I cut up cut up that word swift because it wasn't lining up the way that I wanted to line up. And now I'm gonna add that word swift by itself. So now it's all lined up the way I want it to be lined up. And that looks really good. So I'm going to cut out the next line. 
cutting out the next line. I wonder if you guys, I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm working. And I'm going to cut out the next line. Line by line, preset by preset. And then when I'm done with this, I'm just going to put it in a little box, box it up uh, for my customer. And when I get to where I'm going on Monday, I'm going to deliver it to him with some instructions on how to care for his shirt. I think he's going to be really happy with the way these shirts come out because I'm really happy. I'm really pleased with the way these shirts came out. Um, we made three of them for him. So we have three. I don't know if he's going to give two to somebody else and keep one. I don't know if he's going to keep all three. But I believe he's going to be very happy with them. And if he give give it away to somebody, that somebody is going to be very happy with it as well. So I'm going to have to cut this, cut this single letter out. I mean, the single word out. Because I want to make sure everything is lining up the way it's supposed to be lining up. And if it's not lining up, then I'll have to do it separately. That's all. And it's just going to take me a little bit more time than I thought. But that's okay. I believe God is going to give me um, the ample amount of rest that I need tonight. And I wake up in the morning uh, refreshed according to his will. Okay. There you go. And next line. And the next line. I'm going to have to cut it right there. We want to be very particular about what we do very detail oriented want to pay attention to every detail make sure everything is sitting just right the way it's supposed to sit working on that okay very good very good very good very good and let's add that riches. Okay. Make sure that's on here nice and neat. All right. Nope. That riches don't look well. So I'm going to go ahead and separate that from the pack and put it on here separately. Okay. Now that looks good. That looks very good. I'm going to go ahead and add this. Men. And that looks good. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I have to do it line by line, preset by preset. That looks really good. So I'm going to take the next line and cut out the next line because it wasn't layering right exactly the way that I wanted to layer it. So I'm just going to take it line by line and I'm going to layer it line by line. And if I have to separate words, then I'm going to do that because I want it to be on point. I want it I want it to be on point. I want my customer to say, "Wow." And I believe that my customer is going to say, "Wow," with this shirt. Yes, he is. So I want him to say, wow, um, line by line, preset by preset. So you guys got your clothes all ready for church tomorrow. 
Whoever's going to church tomorrow, you got your clothes ready? I know I don't. <laughs> I'll be waking up in the morning after I pray, trying to find something to wear. <laughs> but it's all good. All right. I'm going to cut this off. This word. And I am going to line this up. Okay. Is that lined up perfectly? No. Okay. That's lined up perfectly. And do this word. Of skills. Perfectly. I'm make sure that men. I'm going to make sure that's lined up perfectly. Because your eyes can play tricks on you. And I don't want my eyes to play tricks on me. Okay, I think that's good. That's good, guys. Got a couple of more lines to go. I know we're going to have a good word in church tomorrow. It's like a good meal. Good. Especially the ones where we have to do the I have to do the whole shirt all over again. We don't want to do that. Okay. That's good. Ah, the paper got stuck. The paper got stuck. Got stuck to my elbow. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. Got two more lines to go. Let me pull my sock up. <laughs> okay. Okay. That two, them all. Nope. I'm gonna have to cut the work too and make it separate from the pack. Make sure that's in the air correctly. I have to do this because the the vinyl, the first, the the bottom layer expanded. So it throws the measurements off. Well, yeah, for the lack of a better word, it throws it off. So I have to do this to make sure everything is on point. There you go. I think I'm gonna cut this word. Them and all separate these words. I'm going to separate them in all. I'm going to separate them in all and put them all separately. Yay. That looks really good. And then put all. That looks really, really, really good. I'm thinking in my mind, I'm going to get this over to the press without all of this coming off. And I only got a little bit of... um. Um, heat resistant tape left. Only got a little bit of heat resistant tape left, but it'll be done. It'll be able to get done. It'll get done. So let me put the Ecclesi the finished touch Ecclesiastes on here. Let me I'm cutting this out. Thank you, Jesus. Put the finishing touches on here. Finishing touches. I'm going to remove the 911. And I'm going to add Ecclesiastes right here. So 
It don't seem like it's not lining up. So I'm going to cut that in half. Ecclesiastes. I'm going to have to line it up letter by letter. Who knows? I'm going to have to line it up letter by letter. But I'm going to make sure that it's lined up nice, nicely. And it don't look crazy on the garment. Yeah. That's good. Let's add the eye. That's good. And the E and the S, line them up. Perfect. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna save these. I'm gonna tack these on last. I'm gonna go ahead and put these over here and let them sit right there. And I'm going to tack these on last. I'm going to tack the Ecclesiastes on last. So let me go ahead and put some heat resistant tape on this as much as I can. So it can, so I can try to keep it taped down and try to keep it in place when I take it over to the, the heat press. And that's it. That's all the tape. So I'm just going to sit it right in the middle. And pray that that keeps it down. All right, guys, come on, go with me. And pray that keeps it down. But I believe it's going to keep it down. So come on, go with me. Let's go back over to the heat press. Okay. All right, we're going back over to the heat press. And we're going to know that's that. Um, It's the, it's the. It's the reflective vinyl, and reflective vinyl is a 30 second, about a 30 second press. But we're only going to press it right now for 15 seconds because we need to put another, we need to put the bottom um, Ecclesiastes on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some of this heat out. Take some of this heat out. This is the heat pillow for the Cricut heat press, the little hand press that they have. The handheld press. And I'm just going to go ahead and un, un fill that. And that looks good. Thank you, Jesus. That looks really good. Take these pieces off. That looks real good. That looks good, y'all. Let me let you see as I'm taking the pieces off. That looks good. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You see that? Oh, God. I know you guys can see that. It looks really, really good. It, look, it lined up so well. So now, only thing we have left to do is to line up the Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. So let's get to it. Let me go get it. And I'm going to line that up right on the heat press. I'm going to line that up right on the heat press, right from here. So we won't have to move it. So I won't have to keep moving it back and forth. So I'm going to line that up right here on the heat press. So I'm just going to pull this shirt up a little bit towards me. And I'm just going to line it up, okay? Ecclesiastes. The ECC. You sure that lines up real well? That lines up well. Get that eye. The 
eye. Then we we'll get the Easties. <laughs> Ecclesiastes. And some good good some good reading Ecclesiastes. I think that's um the book of the Bible where God is speaking about times and seasons to everything. There's a season, there's a time. Look, y'all, God wanted me to see that. If you guys can see that, you see the S. The vinyl is not fully out of the S. That was going to be a mistake that was going to cause me to probably make this shirt all over again. But I'm going to get my weeding tool and weed that S out. You're going to see what I'm talking about. So you're going to see the difference as soon as I take that piece of vinyl out. And I say, thank you, Jesus, for letting me see that. Okay. So now you see the S now. That vinyl is gone. So you can see the S. It's supposed to be open. So I'm going to take that and line it up. Line it up, line it up. I think I'm going to tack this bit by bit because I feel a mistake coming on and I don't want to make no mistakes. So I'm going to tack this bit by bit. So I'm going to take that and tack it for a couple of seconds. And then lift it. Yeah, I think this is the best way to do it. Then I'm going to take the eye. And lay the eye down. Lay the eye down. And the ES. K I E S. And pack that down for a couple of seconds. Okay. That looks good. Pull that up. Yay. All right. Thank you for this tactic. And add the. End of the word, Ecclesiastes. Okay, I'm going to take this S because this S looks like it's going to be hanging off. It don't look like it's going to be in its right place. Let me get my scissors. Let me get my scissors. Let me get these scissors so I can make sure everything is in its right place. I put it in its right place. A. Let's get those together. Make sure they line up perfectly. Okay, they're lining up perfectly. Yay. And let me just do a quick tap with that. Different strategies. Okay. it up. Looks really good, guys. 
Let's do SCE. Then I had the, the S. Sure, that's correct. Got to do what I, what I got to do to make it right. Ordinarily, it won't take this long, but I want to do what I got to do to make it right. I'm do what I got to do to make it right. And if I had to cut it out one by one, and that's what I'm going to do. Make it right. Put the E. Just gonna wait for the E. Yes. Just gonna wait for the E. Tack it for a couple of seconds, bring it up, and make sure they're laying down nice. And yes, they are laying down nice. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. And now let me add that E in the middle. Let the E get in its place. The E can lay down. And then our line 11. Chapter 9, verse 11. In place. Chapter 9, verse 11. Now you have to move that 9. I have to. Cut that nine out. I want to make sure it lines up nice and even. Nice and even. Nice. Nice the way it's supposed to look like a shadow. I don't that that the reflective part is supposed to sit in the middle of the black part. And it don't look like it don't look like it's doing that for these, so I'll place it on there separately just to make sure it's right. But make sure it's right. Uh, make sure it's done correctly. So I'm going to tack this on. I just want to show you guys how they came out. Again, here's that shirt. And we just went through the whole process of creating that shirt. And here's the back. Look how that is reflecting. That shoe, that sneaker is reflecting. And the, the white part, the silver reflection, reflective vinyl is reflecting. I believe he's going to love them. And I thank you all for watching and tuning in. And we'll have some more tutorials and some more things for us to learn. Um, but remember, draw the line tees. 
is doing custom work now. We have custom and we have the brand. Either way, you won't lose. So remember, as always, like, share, subscribe, and follow us as we follow Christ. Have a good night.